Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Mew Dragon Havoc on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Mew Dragon Havoc and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Mew Dragon Havoc. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all mates, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. There is no need to type the URL, because there's the link in the video description and the first main comment. We ended up on this page on our site of Usatility, exactly where we get a precise outline on how you can obtain Mew Dragon Havoc on personal computer. We search down a bit and just click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on this link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will launch to enjoy the game Mew Dragon Havoc on our PC. As you can discover here we access some pros of running this emulator. So we are on the way to proceed to download the Mew Dragon Havoc by simply clicking on the button play on blue stacks that you can visualize here in green color. The step is clicking on this button. And the download takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we are going to do is to run the executable file, OK, then we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the laptop or device. We answered yes. I minimize the web browser to view the installer significantly better. The installer is uncomplicated. It contains a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does indeed. We just simply click on it. And then we observe that we get here the path where in fact the emulator can be placed. If we would like to modify this folder we need to click on that browse option, and now we select another folder and set up the emulator where we want. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. I simply click on back. So I simply click on install. Voila! The installation begins and it is going to carry on along with the download of these MB that are represented on that screen. After you download it, it may be a little bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your web access and depending on the speed of the emulator servers. Today they are running incredibly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has actually been launched instantly. As you can discover, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up when it gets to the finish, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The truth is the emulator was already started, there for the first time. Before we carry on, as can be seen, it made two software icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the one we are concerned about. When we have to launch Mew Dragon Havoc on our desktop or laptop, we double click on that app icon and as a result use the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we perform the next step, which is actually a must-have, and this is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse here to, System Apps, we click. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is launched. Right here we are required to log on. At this point as soon as we're on this page, we have to accomplish this next step that is definitely absolutely mandatory. So that we simply click on, sign in. Presently it announces, checking info. It may from time to time get blocked in, checking info, that's why it fails to progress. If that's the case, you could attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it'll quite likely be repaired. At this time we will type in our email and password. The email has to be a Gmail email address and its matching password. For example you may use the very same email address you're using right now in your YouTube account. So I am going to provide my info and I'll go back when I have accomplished it. Voila, details inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We can agree to them all by simply hitting, I agree. Following that, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. 
you could let it select it it's going to produce a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can make use of this option if you like. We simply click on accept. Google Play Store is launched automatically and completely on its own. To set up the app, we have to browse the emulator desktop by double clicking on the app icon marked in green. At this point that we are watching the desktop of the Android emulator, we can see that we come with here the install application button. We click or double click on this button. On this page we get the video game. Let's quickly just click now on the install link that I am showing now in green. This action will begin the setup. At this time it is going to install the game app, it will take a bit of time or perhaps it could possibly be extremely fast. That all is subject to on our own internet connection. It has already finished setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking that option I'm presenting in green, to be able to start Mew Dragon Havoc for the first time. We're now on the emulator desktop, and then we are about to just click on that new Mew Dragon Havoc app icon which has been generated. This video game is started for the very first time. So there we get it, I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should comment on the volume level of that emulator. It's right here. We have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we don't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the max, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This one is simply the first one, we just click on this particular app icon which I am indeed mentioning in green color. Thus the display screen is maximized, getting one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the event that we really want to experience the application using all the screen, we select this particular app icon. And we might at present be experiencing and enjoying the Android game in 100% screen mode. To get out of the full screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And we might at present play in regular display mode. At this point, I am starting to reveal you the keys mapping and that is definitely quite appealing. That means we definitely will be in a position to utilize the video game a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to click on this keyboard icon. And here you will be able to get the recommended configuration settings. I am about to put the default settings, but if you like to adjust that, you can do it without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is totally in our language. In some cases it occurs that your emulator is launched in the improper language, as an example, in Japanese. And as a consequence to set it up in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then here inside are many other options, we simply click on the language drop down. We should pick the language we need, Italian, Chinese, etc. After the language is determined, we would save, the emulator would restart, along with the game app, next time we use it, will of course be in the chosen language. At this point, there's another element that we have to take into consideration, and it is that we will get an email telling you that a different equipment has been linked to our Google account. It is going to question us if we are the ones who have connected that device. Of course, we must not get worried, simply because the emulator is behaving like an Android electronic device. So you can discover which electronic device is currently being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Be sure to go here to the, model, option. And there we observe that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that video user demo. I anticipate you liked it, specifically that you thought it was helpful. If that's the case, allow it a superb like, subscribe, and if you have comments, issues or ideas, let them in the comment area down below. Simply click any of these instructional videos that are showing up on the list of videos to watch and see you in the next video tutorials. Bye!